Hi, today we're going to see how to create a glitch text effect in GIMP. So first let's create a new image by going to File, New, here. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now let's change the color of our background to black. Here it is, just drag over the color like this. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out, like this. Let's take our text tool now. Make sure the color of the text is white. So switch the foreground color by clicking on this little arrows here. The font type is Verdana Bold and the size is 350. Now left click on the background here to create a new text box, like this. Here, let's write our word here. Let's type it. Here it is. And now let's take our alignment tool. Left click. And now let's click on this icon to center it on the horizontal and vertical axis, like this. And now let's duplicate this text layer here. Duplicate it, like this. So now let's take our text tool again. Highlight the text to select it like this. And now let's change its color. Here it is. Let's take a pink color here. This one, let's take this one. The HTML notation is E14EDA. Press OK. And now just drag over the color like this. Here it is. And now duplicate this layer again by clicking on this icon like this. And now highlight the text again. We are still on our text layer here, so let's change our color. Let's take a green one here. Let's take this one. The HTML notation is 5BE, one for E. Press OK. And now just drag over the color like this. And now let's take our move tool here. Now let's move the white text layer here to make it on top like this. The green one is just under it. Now let's choose the green text here, green text layer, and now let's move it. Press Ctrl while moving it to move it on the same line, like this. Here it is, just like this. And now let's take the one under the pink one and move it to our right, like this. Press Ctrl while moving it, like this. And now let's hide our background layer, like this. Go to the top layer right click on it and then new from visible to create a layer from what's visible on the canva this one as you can see even if we hide these layers it's okay so now let's take our shear tool here we're going just to shear this text a little bit to the right like this there it is press ok so here it is now Right click, layer to image size, here, here it is, and now we're going to take our rectangle selection tool here, and make small selections, make sure in the tool options the mode is add to the selection here, and now let's make selections here, let's make a small one here like this, here it is, press enter to confirm, now let's make a bigger one here like this, here, press enter. Now, while on the text layer, this one, the glitch layer, press Ctrl X to cut the selection here, and then Ctrl V to paste it. As you can see, it's floating layer. Click on this icon to paste it on a new layer, like this. Here it is. And now, let's take our move tool and move it. All right, a little bit like this. Here it is. You can move it later again. So hide it. And now let's go back to our layer, the glitch layer here, this one. Let's make another selection. Let's take our rectangle selection tool. Make sure the mode is add to the selection, this one. And now let's create another one. So let's create a small one here, like this. Press enter to confirm. And then let's make another one here. Here it is, 
like this. Let's move it a little bit. Let's raise it up a little bit like this. Press enter here and then control X to cut it. And then control V to paste it as before. Click on this icon to paste it on a new layer like this. Here it is. And now let's show our previous layer, the one we have moved. Now let's take our move tool and move the one we have just cut right now. Let's move it in the other direction here, like this. So the first one, here it is. Moved it like this. Now let's move this one in the other direction, like this. Here it is. Press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out to make sure the glitch effect to see if it is good or you need to move the layers here more to strengthen the effect like this it is press the minus key on your keyboard to see here I think it's too much I'm going to reduce it a little bit like this here it is, and now I'm going to the first layer here, the glitch one. I'm going to create two other rectangles, rectangular selections like this. Let's see the rectangle tool again. Let's make small selection here, very small one here. Press Enter to confirm. Control X to cut the selection, then Control V. And now press the this icon to create a new layer. Take the Move tool. Now let's move it to our left like this. Here it is. Let's see the result like this. Now we're going to add the last one. Okay, so let's hide these layers here. And now let's take our rectangle selection tool again. Let's zoom in here to be more precise. Let's make selection here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Here it is. Now, just click on here. Or just so let's remove the selection by going to select none and make new selection here. Like this. Here it is. We're just going to make small one. There it is. Press Enter and then Control X to cut and then Control V to paste it. Now it's floating there again. Click on this icon to create a new layer. Take the Move tool. And now let's show the previous layers here to be sure. And now let's move it to our right like this. And now let's go to our layer here and let's zoom out to see the effect. If you think it's too much, go back and then reduce. Just move it up. Just move it back to the left. Here it is. This is the effect. I think that's good. So I think this is this is it. We're done. If you want to add a small glow of light to make it look like a TV screen glitch. What, we, what you can do is you can hide the background layer here, go to the top layer, right click and then new from visible, like this, hide these layers, hide them as you can see, here it is, and now let's show our layer here again. So now what we are going to do, we are going to duplicate the glitch layer here, this one, by click on this icon, like this, and now what we are going to do, we are going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and then add a small blur that's what it is going to make to give it the glow as you can see it will give it a small glow a TV screen glow like so I think that's okay here if you check this one here the preview you can see before and after like this you can, then you can strengthen or reduce the strength of the blur like this, I think it's okay. Then press OK. And so here it is. If you want to create a new image from all of this, right click and then new from visible. And here it is. You can hide these layers and it's okay. 
So uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And uh, till next time. Bye-bye.